You know, being a former waiter, you'd think I'd be something of an expert on tipping, and at restaurants I am, but holiday tipping is something else altogether. Forgive my ignorance, but I'm not really even clear on when holiday tipping became so widespread. Perhaps it's all part of a propaganda campaign by the tippees. Do you give a special holiday tip to your hairstylist? Etiquette experts say you should do that. Good thing my sister-in-law cuts my hair. I'm sure she'd be insulted if I offered her a tip. Do you tip your yard man? Well, that's me at our house, so I'll be extra generous this year. I read that you should consider tipping your garbage collector, even if lately his truck has been tipping your garbage cans into your curbside Christmas lights. Rest of the year, he's flawless. I'm sure I'll get a tip this year. Postal carriers, delivery guys, dog groomers, those are all people you want to keep happy. I don't want my schnauzers to come back looking like hedgehogs. And what about the people you work with, the ones who look out for you? Do you tip them? I think Gary mentioned this year he's going to be handling the tipping of you guys on the cameras. All right, so go to Gary for that. Gary mentioned something about tipping the, uh, uh, Amy's going to do the tipping in the control room, right, Amy? She has that. And I'm going to take care of the sports guys. I'll take them to a ball game or something like that. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. I'm new to all this, so I welcome any suggestions you might have. I'm Kelly Odell. That's my two cents.